Hey guys, it's Melinda here. So today I have an empties video for you. Um, I have a huge box of empties. Um, I'm we're waiting for people to come over for Matt's birthday. It's actually Matt's birthday today. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so I just had to go and grab my jumper. It's kind of cold. So um, we've got half an hour till everyone gets here and people usually come early. So let's jump on into it. Oh, that's a good one. So first I have another um, organic hair shampoo and conditioner. I love this. Um, definitely recommend it. Matt uses it. I don't anymore because it actually dried out my scalp and made it really itchy. So I don't use it. Um, but it used to be amazing. Then I just have this nair removal cream. It's amazing. I use it for my eyebrows and it's really, really good. Um, next I have a whole bunch of these hair elastics. They came in this little box. It's about five, four dollars, five dollars from Kmart, and these are my go-to hair elastics. They are it's kind of gross, but there's hair on them. Ones with like little ridges in them. So they're cool. Um, next I'm throwing out this little fake nail thing. I got it um, quite a while ago. I think it was in like a free bag from Priceline and I've used them and they're horrible. <laughs> um, next I have this stretch mark cream. This was good. Um, it did make my necklace go black though, but I don't know. It only did it that one time. Um, it's good, nothing special, didn't get rid of stretch marks, but it's a good moisturiser. My all-time favourite um, conditioning spray, leave-in conditioner, is the Frizzies. I have gone through this quite a few times um, in the past, you know, three or four years, and it is really good. I really recommend it if you are looking for a leave-in conditioner. My all-time favourite... Um, now polish remover, cannot rave enough about this, I think I even have a video about it and I was able to find it again so um, I've gone through that one. Um, I've got this Chew Chi Chi, Choose Chi Chi um, Parfum and this is the watermelon one. This actually has little specks, it's like metallic, it leaves like little specks on you so um, I've already repurchased this one. Um, my favourite shampoo is the... My favourite hairspray is the um, Tresemme one. It is really nice. It does kind of leave your hair a little bit... Um, what's that word? Crusty. <laughs> um, but it's good. The only thing is, the last two that I've had, when they have like this much left in them, the spray part actually starts to um, go all funny. So that's not good. It kind of like builds up here and just goes gross. So I think I'm actually just going to get the smaller ones um, from now on because they're just going to waste. Like this still has, you know, like this much in it because I can't spray it properly. So, um, next I have two Bior, um, skincare things here. This one is completely gone. This one is semi, most of it's gone. Um, I don't know my, it, I just don't think it cleans that well. And to be honest, I haven't really noticed a difference. Um, I got a new one in the skincare bag and I actually took notice of this one and yeah. So I have these two products. This one's completely gone. This one is pretty much gone. Great products. Love the Bior range. Um, I don't really notice a whole lot when it comes to skincare and my skin because I don't really have problem skin. I don't get acne or anything different with these cleansers. They are good to take off makeup in the shower as well. Um, I have this curl flex cream this did nothing for my hair except make it crusty this is by Swartzkopf don't recommend that um Matt's beloved powder which I think features in every single empties that's amazing imperial leather get it you'll love it I have a perfume here this is Britney Spears Believe this is one of my favorite perfumes by her gorgeous bottle I absolutely well I absolutely love this I've had it for a while Matt bought it for me for my birthday It'll be two years ago this year, I think, maybe three years, um, and it's finally got, you know, like the tiniest bit left, but I can't get it out, so. Um, then I have some Beauty Essentials wipes. I really do like these. 
Um, they're just the Priceline brand. Some more press-on nails that were horrible. These are the press-and-go nails. I don't recommend press-on nails at all. Um, I have this nail polish remover. These were Kmart's um, brand. They're just like little pads. They smell like they've got nothing on them and there's like nothing on them. They don't remove nail polish. I have an Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder. Pretty much none left. Just going to throw that and I absolutely love this. And I have re-bought it. This had hair lackeys in it. These hair lackeys here. Love those. I think they were from Big W. Um, then I have another pack of the other hair lackeys that I showed you guys. They kind of get stretched out a little bit and I just don't feel like they hold my ponytail as tight. And I wear ponytails every day. So um, definitely just repurchase them. They're not expensive. So... Um, I have my all-time favourite soap. This is the Antibacterial by Palmolive. And I just love the scent. The scent draws me to it every time. And it's only about $3, I think. I have this Radox for Men. And I actually started using this for a little bit. Um, the scent is just really nice. It's a really great product. Matt, Matt really enjoyed it. So I would recommend that. Some more hand soap. This is the foaming one by Palmolive. Some bust cream. I didn't like this. Um, it was really drying. I don't know. It just didn't work for my skin. It reckons it firms and tones. It didn't really do that. It just... It was really oily, but it dried my skin out. And I found that it started to flare up my eczema, so it was not good. Um, this leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff. I think you guys know that. Um, I don't use it as often. I definitely don't use it all over my body every shower. Um, I pretty much only use it when I shave my legs. Another Imperial Leather. So I've had these products sitting here for so long. I'm trying to get through them so fast. Um, I have this Nivea Day Cream. I've had this for quite a while. Pretty much all gone. It was a really nice thick cream. And it has SPF 30 which is fantastic. You definitely need SPF 30 on your face. Um, Matt's face wash again. He loves this stuff. I recommend this whole range for men. I have a soothing eye cream by Swispers. Love this and I just opened another one. Um, then I have this. Oh god, this has been here for ages. <laughs> the Body Shop Born Lippy Passion Berry Lip Balm. All gone. Smells amazing and I love the Born Lippy Lip Balms by um, the Body Shop. So I would recommend those. I have this Vaseline Spray Moisturizer. I am in love with this one. I do have a green one and I will repurchase it. Um, definitely would recommend this. I use this all the time. Um, I have this Aveeno Active Naturals Eye Cream. Didn't really care for this. There's still so much in it. I'm just going to throw it away. I didn't like the brush on it. It kind of was like, I don't know. There's only that much being used. It kind of just made me feel like it wasn't clean. Um... So, didn't like that. Um, I just have a whole bunch of Matt's razors. I thought I'd just throw them in there. These are the Gillette Fusion ones. They're quite expensive. I think for three of them, it's like $20. Um, so, that's those. A toothpaste. We did have two more. I don't know where they are. I think I may have thrown them out. Or Matt. I think Matt may have thrown them out. Because I'm pretty sure we had a deodorant in here as well. But, sometimes Matt forgets. <laughs> Um, I have a Raspberry Rose Lip Butter. These came out this year and this is my favourite lip butter. Oh, I love them. <laughs> um, I have a Candy Love Scented Body Wash from Smith Street. This was just from Coles. It came in a gift pack. Uh, me and used that one. Um, I have this Scandalized Show Off Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. And it's just the purple one. I'm just throwing that out because I was using it for a while. Um, this scent, um, spiced pear and vanilla lip butter was horrible. This was just a big W brand. Um, hardly anything was used out of that. So I'm just getting rid of that. It didn't smell very nice either. <laughs> um, this now Lexburg's vitamin C cream stuff from... Avon cuticle gel was horrible. And then I have a whole bunch of this um, Dermafil facial 
filling cream by Avon. There's still so much left, but I've had it for ages and I wasn't really using it. So I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't know when it expires and stuff. And I don't want to put that stuff on my face. So that is everything. I'm so glad I got through it really quickly. Um, I was afraid this was going to be a two-parter video. But um, if you want reviews on any of these products, if I didn't quite tell you guys why I love them or why I didn't like them, please let me know. Um... But I am definitely going to be doing an empties every couple of weeks and doing like a real in-depth review just because I find it better than just rushing through all these products. But now I've got them all done. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.